Boobies! Hey guys, uh, Fish in the Ville here today, and I'm gonna be doing my, let's see, is it my last? Let's see. I believe, would you stop? I believe it's my last tier, my last installment of unboxing and first impressions. Uh, sad moment right now, because I don't have any new lures to work with. That's kind of pathetic, though. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got these lures. It's pretty much like a banjo minnow ripoff version, except you can get three for three bucks. No, this is a new one. Sorry, my my brother is being kind of beauty questiony. Um, but yeah, it's just a pretty much a smaller banjo minnow. It's like three inches. Here's the real banjo minnow. Da -da 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 -da. Mini the three inch and here's the stop and it's called the Alabama cripple shed the one on the bottom as you can see they're the same length and except that's the only length they sell these in is three inches so yeah they're I mean they look they look good they got the swim cut and everything but this is a tail bait this isn't a whole body jerky jerky happy happy bait this is just a if you watch the tail I'm barely moving my hand and that's what it'll do in the water. And look, I stopped moving my hand, and the tail's still going. And the way the hook's set up, it's set up just like the banjo minnow. Uh, I got one tied onto my pole right now. Got my awesomely amazing modified line capacity reel that I did a video on earlier today. This has been a video uploading day today. I've uploaded like eight videos. But uh, it's it, as you can see, the hookup is pretty much the same you got your banjo it's the same hook everything you got your banjo hook up front and you got the nose of the bait and the the only thing different about this is it's not a it's not that the eyes aren't detachable and the it doesn't have a nose stem in the front like this like the banjo has a nose stem that pops up that you put the hook through well take the bait assistant oh really oh screw this Oh my gosh! All right. Well, sorry about the language, here, guys. Here's what it looks like when it's all hooked up and crap. That's my brother. Oh! <laughs> when rods attack. <laughs> if only you all could have seen that. That was pretty funny. My rod fell over and smacked him in the face. <laughs> but this has got a spiral screw that goes in the nose, and you turn it and turn it and turn it so it's all the way in, and then you hook your bait through it, and you have to put on these stupid things called lock rings. That keep your bait from sliding up over the well, over the rings? point of the hook. Like normally, if you didn't put the lock rings on, it would go whoop and slide right off. But the lock rings keep it from doing that. And you put one on the top, one on the bottom, and you're good to go. I mean, I've tried it in my little fish tank, and the action looks pretty good. I really can't wait to get out on the pond and try these things out. I mean, if they work better than the banjo, screw the banjos. I'm keeping these. Because, I mean, these are cheaper, they're easier to hook, they're not easier to hook up, but they're, they're more, I don't know, how would you say it, they're more, I wouldn't call them better, banjos are better made, but these are just cheaper and they're more, I don't know, they're just more, they seem more affordable and more, more detailed, that's what, I, that's the word I was looking for, because as you can see, Banjo minnow doesn't have this on it, does it? That's the only downside to the banjo. It doesn't have. Now see, Banjo's look. like that. Now see, banjo has it, but it's not outlined, so the fish can't see it. But that one's special because it's reflected. It shines. Yeah, on. that's that's the. But then the banjo has the iridescent foil in it. The cripple shad doesn't have that. So, kudos to you, Alabama, for making the cripple shad. Hopefully, your bait's not a total piece of crap. Um, uh, the banjo has proved to me that it's done that TV offers don't always do what they're supposed to do but it's also proved that they can also be good good little lures and things and I have figured out that it's not holy crap it's not in the how to DVD on the banjo but it's in the instructions but it's not explained clearly the banjo, normally people think, okay, this is how you hook it up, with the lure no, and the bait in line. But that's where they're wrong, because what you're really supposed to do is once you get it hooked up, 
you're supposed to grab the hook in between your index and your thumb fingers and you're supposed to hold it and then you do the same on the eyes of the minnow and you take the minnow and you twist it 90 degrees now people are probably thinking oh my god he just snapped the, the eyelet well I didn't it's flexible and it's supposed to do like that and once it gets there it stays and this lets the minnow swim on its side like it's supposed to the minnow is proven to work better like this than it does in the regular inline motion uh... yeah so this has been my last installment of the unboxing and first impression with the Alabama cripple shed hopefully they work hopefully all these baits work hopefully I catch a 10 pounder hopeful 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 that's all you can ask to be so this has been my fifth installment don't forget to rate comment subscribe and look down here for information about the bait and I prefer more the banjo minnow because it's beast